But uh, here, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we got an out-of-towner, guys. My fire got really, really far. Uh, he just so happens to be in town. He's going to give us a great show. All right, let's invite Master Nate. <laughs> Welcome, Nate. So just talking to the big ball there. there this one? Oh, yeah. Oh! Hello. Hey. We're having fun? We have a good time? When I say butt, can you say chug? Butt! Chug! Butt! Chug! Butt! Chug! butt. Chug! All right, throw your arms up in the air. Let's do it. <laughs> Y'all just obeyed a man in clown face. Should reconsider some decisions. Y'all like impressions? That's good. You were going to hear it anyway. All right, here's my impression of the first chicken here. God tell Adam and Eve that they have dominion over all beasts of the land and are allowed to eat them. Bacock! It's the first chicken. It's the first chicken. All right, here's the first horse hearing the same thing. First horse. All right, here's the first pig. Do you know why I pulled you over this evening? And people, it's okay if you're in here and you like the police. It's okay. People still like R. Kelly. Now, now I'm not comparing the police to noted sex criminal Robert Kelly. The police could never make remix to Ignition. Folks! I'm not a queer individual, but I've been told I'm queer adjacent. That's what happens when you haven't dated a straight woman in over 10 years. <laughs> On accident. I do hear that I'm a zesty straight a lot. I hear zesty straight. I hear that when I say I love Stephen Sondheim. Cocaine has been snorted off my dick. And I do love getting fucked in the ass. It's pretty great. Let's hear it for the prostate, folks. Yeah. Uh, now, as you can tell from those jokes, I'm a bad ally. Bad ally. I hate the right people for the wrong reasons. Like J.K. Turfington. Lots of good reasons to turn on old J.K. I just think Voldemort's the dumbest villain in history. What do we know about Lord Voldemort? He doesn't have a nose. He gave himself his own nickname. So far, that's a Malgoth. But most importantly, he failed to kill a baby. <laughs> a baby! That's the easiest type of person to murder. Next to someone who just wrote their suicide note. I don't need dark magic to kill a baby. Just need a boot. All right, good. This is a pro infanticide crowd. We can really go there. <laughs> Folks, anyone in here really into true crime? <laughs> All right. I can see the sexy corner loves true crime. <laughs> I like true crime, but I'm getting really burned out on murders. So I'm getting into weird crimes. Like, uh, y'all hear about the fertility doctor who was accused of exchanging all the proper cum with his own cum? <laughs> and then he died trying to escape in a homemade airplane. I think I know what he did with the proper cum. There was also a, a professor who was recently caught fucking his dog on camera. He says he does it to blow off steam. I think that's disgusting. I fucked a dog because the kidnappers told me to. It was the only way I could get my wife back. And yes, she chose to stay kidnapped. She took one look at the tape and said, he's never fucked me like that. What happened to this country? 
A man used to be able to afford three to four secret families <laughs> on nothing more than a traveling salesman's paycheck. That's three to four houses. I can barely afford an OnlyFans subscription. That's three to four custom videos of a beautiful woman telling me it'll be okay. I think serving cunt is something Hannibal Lecter would do. Both literally and metaphorically. Dalton John has a song called Saturday Night is All Right for Fighting. I would give my left nut to see Elton John in a bar fight. A tiny dancer who's hoovered his body weight in cocaine? It's terrifying. Why do we get mad at people for letting the cat out of the bag? They always yell at me when I shove them in there. Summer weather is back. I love summer weather. I've seen such wondrous things. I've seen a grown man ride a scooter in anger. I've seen an eight-year-old deliver DoorDash. And I saw a woman lose a fight to her own tits. She was trying to run in a low-cut romper without a bra. And like Icarus before her, gravity taught a harsh lesson. An uppercut. Folks, the president of Mexico recently released a photograph of an elf. I'm tired of this one-upsmanship statescraft. First, we disclose UFOs. Mexico discloses elves. What's next? Canada says autistic people are real. We're not. You can tell I'm autistic by the way I pick things up with my tail. And how when there's a full moon at night, I'll turn into a large ape that can spit out a laser beam. Goku was autistic representation. <laughs> All right, we've got some Goku heads in the house. Hell yeah. Uh, I did actually get sent back to special ed in the 10th grade which seems unfair. I was 75% of the way through. That's at least a C. But they added it to my schedule like it was a class. So it would be 8 a.m. math, 10 a.m. history, 12 p.m. short bus. And I gotta be honest, it was wonderful. I got to escape the rules and drama and bullshit of high school and just hang out with some chill dudes. There was Franklin, who loved dinosaurs. There was Thomas, who loved dinosaurs. And there was Lonnie, who loved... Dinosaurs. Trains! <laughs> Would you like to know their favorites? I'm going to leave you on this. All right. Triceratops, Plesiosaur, and the one he ran on my mom. Lonnie was a savage, folks. My name's Nate Bechtel. This has been a set. Holy crap.